guys, welcome back. It's Megan here from Organized Little Lady and today I am so excited to be collaborating with a bunch of wonderful YouTubers to talk about back to school organization. All of the participating channels will be linked below. Definitely check them out because I know they're going to have some great advice and organization tips for back to school. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about a few different ways we're organizing to get ready for a new school year. If you're not familiar with our family, we are a family of five. We have three children, two of which are in school this year. We have a second grader and a preschooler, and we really find that it's essential to get everything organized before a new school year. Trying to get things just set in place and systems in place so that way it's an easier transition for not only the kids, but us as parents also. So today I'll talk about a few different ways that we are getting organized around here for back to school. So here we are in our hallway and I really wanted to create an area for the kids to be able to put all of their belongings, their coats, their backpacks, their hats, their mittens, also be able to display their artwork proudly. So I know I only have two kids who are in school this year, but I did set up um, an area for my daughter also because she will be in school before we know it. So the first thing I did was I just found some hooks that um, are at Walmart and I hung those at their level so they can easily come home and hang up their backpack and their coats and all of that. Um, I got these bins, these are 31 um, O snap pockets and I thought they would be perfect to put all of those miscellaneous items that um, they come home with from school or hats, mittens, gloves, you know, all of that sort of thing. They can just put in their pocket here. And then I also did buy these little cork boards here and each child has one so that way they have their own individual space to display their artwork that they bring home proudly. Another area I really wanted to organize before school started was a place to put all of their important paperwork coming home from school. So paperwork can be very overwhelming and I really didn't have a great system in place last year. So this year I really wanted to use these um, little clipboards that are actually Erin Condren um, notebook dividers. I just hung on the fridge with some magnetic clips and each child has their own spot to put paperwork. So if we can't get to it right away, it gets hung up there and we know that that needs to be taken care of, whether it be a permission slip, something we need to sign that needs to be returned, or even just important announcements that are sent home from school. It's right in our right on our fridge, so that way it's in a general area, everybody can see, we cannot forget about it. And I think this will help us really stay on top of paperwork this year. Another area I really wanted to get organized before school starts was our homework area. So we just use our dining room table to do homework in, but I didn't really have all of the supplies organized like I'd like to. So over here in our dining room, we have a cabinet and within the cabinet, I keep two bins. The bins here on the bottom are where I would like to keep all of our homework supplies and get them organized. So that way when we're doing homework, we're not scurrying all around trying to find the supplies that we need. We, I really wanted to get them organized so that way homework time is less stressful. So I'm going to pull out those bins and show you what I keep inside. So in this first bin is where we keep this container. I bought this container at, I believe it's Big Lots. It's like a closeout store um, that we have nearby. I think you can find these at other home stores. I believe Walmart probably has them. I've, I know I've seen them in other areas, but they're awesome because they are actually three separate containers that all clip together. So you can pick it up and carry it as one, or you can separate them and use them individually like that. So um, what I wanted to do and how I wanted to utilize this was to just have all of our homework supplies in one area so I can easily pull this out and all of our supplies are on hand. So in the first bin here, I have just put all of our pens and pencils, erasers, and a pencil sharpener. I cannot tell you how many times last year we were trying to find a pencil. <laughs> and that's not good when you're trying to sit down and do homework and you're trying to find the supplies. It just adds an unnecessary stress to homework time. So now all of our pens and pencils, erasers, and pencil sharpener are in one place and ready to go. The second container holds all of our crayons and markers. So a lot of times the kids will have 
projects that they need to color um, and so again it'll just be nice to have that all on hand. The third bin contains all of our miscellaneous items, our glue, glue sticks, stapler with extra staples, scissors, and then I do have a set of note cards in there to also for flashcards or that sort of thing. So by just simply taking the time to gather all of the supplies that we will need for homework time and organizing them in a container will definitely help us when it comes to doing homework because we won't be looking for those items. Homework time will probably be a lot easier and it won't take as much time just having the items organized and on hand. I also keep in that same bin a little binder pouch here that I just have extra markers and extra crayons for the younger kids. I do have a home daycare so I usually have quite a few kids around homework time and I find that the younger kids like to do table time activities such as coloring or tracing or working on worksheets. Also, when the older kids are, they always like to follow suit in what the older kids are doing. So I find just having a few supplies on hand for the younger kids will help keep them entertained while the older kids are concentrating on their homework. The second bin here is again just helps entertain the smaller children while the older children are doing the homework and while I'm helping the older children. So I keep a variety of different coloring books in here. Um, I also have some little activity books so that way the kids can be doing their homework while the older kids are. So we just have these, these are just wipe clean um, different activity books so they can be working on their homework while the older kids are and I just find having these materials on hand really helps keep the younger kids entertained because they like I said want to be doing what the older kids are doing and when homework time is done it easily just goes back into this cabinet close it up and everything stays nice and neat and organized for the following day so those are just a few ways that we are getting organized for back to school. So again, I really wanted to just have a set area for backpacks and personal belongings because I found that last year as the kids came in, their stuff was just getting spewed all about and that's how things get lost. So I really wanted to set up that area in our hallway for each child to put their personal belongings, their backpack, and it's at their level. So they can easily hang up their own backpacks and coats and put their personal belongings away. I also wanted to have a designated spot for each child to display their artwork. When they come home, they are proud of their artwork, and so are we, so we want to display it proudly. And by having a designated area like that, um, we can easily rotate it throughout week to week. I also wanted to get a set system in place for paperwork. Having a set area that all important paperwork goes so that way we're no longer losing those important announcements and um, permission slips and that sort of thing. We have one area for, again, each child to put all of the important paperwork that we need to um, respond to or just keep track of. And again, getting all of our homework supplies organized will help us immensely it was definitely something I wanted to improve upon from last year. It would have a more peaceful environment. All of their supplies should be ready to go. And I think that by using that container and just having them organized in one spot that's easily accessible will really help smooth out the whole homework time. Again, having materials for the younger children to keep them entertained, but yet doing their homework at the table with the big kids is again another thing that I think will help just with the whole homework process. So I hope that you enjoyed those tips. I would love to hear your back to school tips and organization, how you and your family get organized for the back to school season. And thanks so much for watching guys. I'll talk to you soon.